For more on uh, the American Awakening, we're joined by uh, author and political commentator uh, from Berkeley, Mr. Ralph Schoenman. Mr. Schoenman, welcome to the program. First of all, give us your thoughts on the ongoing uh, arrests and uh, use of police tactics and force against the uh, peaceful Occupy demonstrators. Well, thousands of people demonstrated today, and the, the focus of the demonstration was to occupy the Henry Kaiser Convention Center, which is an abandoned building, as have so many buildings been abandoned through foreclosure and through the collapse of the capitalist economy in city across city. And the Occupy protesters want to reclaim that building and turn it into a social center. It's emblematic of the demand that housing be restored, that cities be rebuilt, that the enrichment of the financial uh, oligarchy in the United States be ended, and that the uses of our resources be applied to the redevelopment of our own society and for the benefit of working people. I myself was in a press conference at the Oakland protests uh, the day before yesterday on behalf of the Longshore Workers Union who are protesting the attempt to break that union by bringing in scab workers for a billion dollar grain company in Longview, Washington. It's part of an ongoing struggle and I would like to emphasize that this protest movement is regalvanized around the State of the Union speech of Barack Obama who made an extraordinary declaration. What is happening in Detroit, he said, will happen in other industries. He said the auto industry is back. It will happen in Cleveland, in Pittsburgh, and Raleigh, declaimed Barack Obama. What is the significance of the State of the Union speech invoking Detroit? The manufacturing capital of the United States is a city that is now bankrupt, with poverty and unemployment over 50%. Widespread foreclosures, utility shutoffs, the city government is now scrapping entire neighborhoods and returning sections of the former manufacturing capital of the United States to farmland. The state government is contemplating the installation of an emergency manager who will suspend local government. That's what Obama is offering to workers in Cleveland and Pittsburgh and Raleigh, North Carolina, to workers in cities across the United States. The Occupy movement is galvanized to fight back on behalf of the mass of our population against this relentless policy of the financial and corporate oligarchy in the United States. Mr. Schoenman, in your thoughts, uh, what's in store for the Occupy movement in 2012, both in terms of the resolve of the uh, Occupy demonstrators and also uh, the way that uh, the U.S. administration plans to deal with them? Well, as you see today, the police were using chemical weapons and flash grenades and gas against peaceful protesters. And that's been the paradigm because these attacks that are being launched against uh, uh, peaceful protesters, students and workers and everyday citizens in the United States are coordinated. They're coordinated by the intelligence services. They're coordinated by the National Police uh, Coordination Board. Uh, in, in conjunction with police departments. It's a measure of the repression that's in store or that will be attempted to be put in store for the people of the United States as they begin this long process of reclaiming our society and our government from this tiny financial oligarchy that is essentially bankrupting the country, cannibalizing its infrastructure, and condemning people to unemployment, foreclosure of their homes, loss of their pensions and health care and benefits. Many thanks, author and political commentator from Berkeley, Mr. Ralph Schoenman.